Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. This time we are playing the new Keppel Syme. I've made a short video of how we're actually gonna get there. It might get a bit confusing. So make sure to head down to Lonnie Road and you're gonna make a left on the second lane. As you approach this filter lane, you will see a sign that says Lonnie Road or Singapore Island Country Club. And once you turn into this lane, make sure to make the first left turn after the bus stop. Because if you do go straight, then you will really miss your tea time. As you make the bend, you will see this straight stretch and it takes about two to three minutes before you reach the club. So make sure to enjoy the view on the right side. And as you reach uh, the Keppel Club Clubhouse, the backdrop is straight up ahead, just below the tennis court. Uh, you will be able to see it on your right side. It's really good to be back after a long one and a half months. I've been to a holiday with my family into the Scandinavian countries. Uh, it was really cold at minus 25 degrees and I'm just happy to be back. I've also put a links right down below in the description box if you do want to find out more about the fees and the cost that you would be paying playing at Keppel Sign. Now the whole one of um, the Keppel Sign is an index 1 par 4. This hose moves a dog leg left and you will need a very long carry to get yourself as close as possible towards the hole. Okay, tree line. Now my second shot, I have about 200 meters. And you know on the cow grass, you don't really get good lies all the time. So you can see I sort of intentionally topped the ball. It was intentional. So I can get the ball as close as possible to the hole. You can play it up in the air or you can play it on the ground. There is no right or wrong. Now, because we're playing on cow grass, we're not doing the rainy days or when it's in the morning, it tends to be a bit soggy. So generally for the technique for your pitching and your wedges, you want to employ a very wide sweeping stroke. Yes. When you step on the tee box, you would have noticed that they have upgraded it and they have filled it up with zoysia. Uh, there's a new grass on their tee boxes as well as on their greens. It's a real premium feel. Now this second hole is the par 5. I've got about 200 meters to the pin. I went with a 3 iron instead of a 3 wood as you do not wish to be long on this hole. It's okay to be short as you still have a pitch shot. Now you might notice that um, when there is a red front pin, it is wise to play past the hole as you do not want to leave yourself short on an elevated green. Now the pace of the green is still kind of slow. So be patient and let the green mature. Hole 3 is a par 3. It's downhill. Um, they have added two beautiful bunkers that bye is bye. really pleasing to the eyes. Oh, now just really. one warning, never go right off this green. It's going to be really tough getting up and down from there. From here, I've used a 58 degrees wedge. I'm not really sure where the pin is. I just want to put it on the green two part and walk away with a bogey. Now, hole four is an index 11. The tee box is just beside the green on hole number three. Now, on this hole, what you will notice is there's water in front of you. If you do put your ball in the water, uh, right here at Keppel Syme, the drop zone is actually in Die front double. of the water hazard. They have made this so to Go ensure some. quicker play for all golfers to enjoy. But of course, if you choose to drop your ball behind the hazard, that's welcome too. A blue pin uh, signifies one pin at the back. So I've chosen a 50 degrees wedge, decided to land the ball in the middle of the green and let it release towards the back. So soft. You already know it's slow already. <laughs> okay, pie is good. Pie is good. Pie is good. Hole five is a par four. It's dog leg right and it's an index five. There's a reason awesome. for this as 
not all the time you do need to take out a driver. In my case, I took mine out and I overshot the fairway. Went to the side. And now I'm left with a difficult shot towards overshot the green. Fairway. Now this hole is really special. It, it opens up towards the reservoir and you get to enjoy this beautiful view. On hindsight, I think I should have taken out a three wood. Uh, maybe a slice or a cut would actually fit this hole. On my second shot, I had to hit this uncomfortable slice. It's not a shot that I'm comfortable with, but somehow pulled it off. And the ball is just slightly off the green. Had to play this bump and run as I'm not really sure if I play this long, will I be able to score a worse score of bogey from there. Just a fun fact, did you know that um, the sign yeah. cost as well as the book it and island cost of yeah, Singapore Island Country Club, let they were built okay. to protect and surround MacRitchie Reservoir. It's really rare to see tree-lined okay, uh, golf courses in <laughs> Singapore nowadays as most of the newer courses have lesser trees and wider fairways. So I think uh, being able to play a capital sign and now it's offered to the public, it's something really exciting for all golfers in Singapore. Okay. Thank you. No, no, maybe bunker. Let's have a closer look of the bunkers at Capel Sign. The sand texture is uh, kind of soft um, but not thick, so it's really nice to play out from. Number two, uh, you will see the surface of the bunkers are not grass made. This is made so, so that you will not struggle getting out from the face of the bunker, especially when you get one of those nasty plugged lies. Okay. Even we play also not bad, right? Hole 7 is a par 3 at 166 meters. I went with a 6 iron. Plan to play this longer than usual as there is a really nice bailout area at the back of the green. Um, there's lots of space. It's filled with zoysia grass instead of the cow grass. Um, they've done this at Capel Sim so that you enjoy your short game chipping and pitching experience. It's definitely a premium experience compared to chipping from a muddy wet cow grass. Hole 8 is a par 4, it's dog leg left with an index 7, messed bye bye. up my tee shot and the ball ended up in the woods. Now you will need to hit the ball out, play it out with a punch shot. Uh, do you have a shot in your bag? Now I played this right off the green as the pin was blocked by the trees and I had to get up and down from this spot but thanks to the zoysia that's planted around the green, I was able to get up and down and save my par. I don't think I would have been able to do that if this was cow grass. Yeah, Hole number nine, par five. It's dog leg right. The bunker is in play for most golfers. So you either have to play a very high cut, a slice to avoid that. And from there, everything is pretty much downhill. Didn't hit my second shot too well, but we're still en route to a 3 on on a par 5. Okay, now I've been missing birdies quite a bit today, so hopefully this hole is the one for me. Uh, they've enlarged most of the greens on oh, this dear. capital sign. Okay. It's truly a very enjoyable experience. And if you guys do have any questions, um, please feel free to comment them down below. I can ask the club or find out more and please do stay tuned for part two of this video as I will talk more about the back nine as well as you know the buggies and the facilities at the golf club. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Hwada!